Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of retained products of conception RPOC after DNC. You can see the uterus, urinary bladder, and retained products of conception are seen in the distal portion of the uterine cavity. The term retained products of conception RPOC refers to intrauterine tissue that develops after conception and persists after medical and surgical pregnancy termination, miscarriage and vaginal or cesarean delivery. The intrauterine tissue is often of placental origin. You can see the uterus cervix, urinary bladder and the retained products of conception in the distal portion of the uterine cavity. The characteristic clinical manifestation of RPOC include one or more of the following uterine bleeding, pelvic pain, fever and are of uterine tenderness. These clinical findings are non-specific. Moreover, moreover, it is normal to have some post-abortal bleeding and discomfort. This patient has got history of DNC three times and even after three times you can see the retained products of conception are seen in the uterine cavity even after more than one year of these DNCs. Dilatation and curatage, the treatment of choice for RPOC carries a risk of serious complications including uterine bleeding, perforation, infection, adhesions, and infertility. So the normal menstrual cycle should resume within four to six weeks. Know that after a DNC, you will also likely still be coming to terms with your long lost pregnancy. A natural approach allows the woman's body to naturally expel the placenta on its own. Medical personnel assist the managed approach and usually occurs when a shot is administered to the thigh while the baby is being born to cause the woman to expel her placenta. However, if the placenta are Parts of the placenta remains in the womb for more than 30 minutes after childbirth. It is termed as retained placenta. When it is left untreated, a retained placenta can cause life-threatening complications for mother, including infection and excessive blood loss. In this case, there was abortion, termination of pregnancy, but after three attempts of DNC, the whole products of conception could not be recovered, expelled, and you can still see these products of conception inside the distal portion of the uterine cavity. Ultrasound is typically the first line of investigation in suspected retained products of conception. A variable amount of ecogenic or heterogeneous material within the endometrial cavity as you can see in this case. In some instances, the, this may present like an endometrial or intrauterine mass. Grayscale ultrasound is the most used imaging method in the diagnosis of retained placental tissue. On the ultrasound image, you can see a thickened endometrial eco-complex EEC ranging from 8 to 13 millimeter are an intra-cavity mass, as you can see in this case. In the previous pregnancies, if the previous pregnancies come with complications such as cesarean section that cause the uterine adhesions or a, or a retained placenta that cause scarring, a woman can experience secondary infertility as a result. After the placenta, is delivered, the uterus should contract down 
to close off all the blood vessels inside the uterus. If the placenta only partially separates, the uterus cannot contract properly, so the blood vessels inside will continue to bleed. A retained placenta thereby leads to hemorrhage. If pieces of placenta are still inside the uterus or weeks after the delivery, the patient will experience symptoms including fever, persistent heavy bleeding with blood clots, cramping and pains as in this case. The treatment is usually with antibiotics. You may need an operation to remove the remaining pregnancy tissue. You will probably, probably be advised to use pads rather than tampons for the bleeding and not to have sex until it has stopped bleeding. After two, about two to hundred women have bleeding pad bad enough to need a blood transfusion. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.